Next one was on this banner. It said, turn guns into plows. Now, I looked at that, and I thought, you know, I've used this verse before, but the setting of this verse is the millennium has been set up. On, in other words, Christ has returned, set up his kingdom on this earth, and then this, the verse tells us this, Isaiah 2 and verse 2, And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow into it. And many people shall come, go up and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the house of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us his way, and we will walk in his path, for out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. So this is a beautiful scripture that when Christ returns and set up his kingdom on this earth, there is going to be peace. Okay. You know, I mentioned this before, but the tank, the idea for the tank where originally came from the farm tractor. They just took a farm tractor and started slowly but surely modifying it until it is what it is today. But when this time comes, we're going to take those tanks and turn them back into plow tools, farm equipment. Now, let's like take a look at Joel 3 and verse 10 because it puts a different spin on this verse that applies to the day in which we now live. It says, beat your plowshares into swords. Notice that. Yeah, take those uh, farm equipment and turn it into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Listen, listen closely. Until Christ returns to set up his, his kingdom on this earth, Buy a gun so that you can protect yourself from evil men. Check us out on the web at isthatreallyinthebible.com.